for this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used 75% of Lion Brand's Pound of Love in Honey Bee. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 4 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting started on this top, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 6mm hook, and start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. And just as a tip, this is going to shrink up a bit, so add at least 2 inches. So I'm going to make a total of 15 inches or 38 centimeters, or that comes out to 55 chains. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain, do a chain up of one. Once we have that, we're going to slip stitch into that chain that we just blocked off with our thumb or the second chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do one more together, insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through everything and we're going to put one slip stitch into every loop that we have going back down our chain. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our first row of slip stitches we are now going to be doing an increase. So how we increase with slip stitches is actually by doing a chain out of two after every other row. So once we have that we will be flipping our work and then we're going to be going in with back loop slip stitches but how to get our increase, we're going to be doing a back loop slip stitch into this second chain that we just made for ourselves. So we're going to be skipping this first one, insert our hook into this first back loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything, and let's do this one more time, into this next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end, we're just going to do a chain up of one, flip our work and then do back loop slip stitches coming back but i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row just to remind you guys and then we can move on from there now that we've just made our way down with our second row of slip stitches and this was a row of back loop slip stitches we're going to keep this bottom part blunt so what we're going to do is do a chain up of one flip our work and then make our way back down putting one back loop slip stitch into every loop that we have and then we are going to do an increase at the other end of this row so I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together as well. We've just made it back and we are about to end off our third row but we have to do our increase so that is going to be a chain up of two and then just to start off our fourth row we're going to flip our work insert our hook into that second chain that we have from our hook so skipping this first one go into that second chains back loop yarn over pull through everything and then from here on out, we're going to continue doing back loop slip stitches going all the way down. When we make it down to the blunt end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back with back loop slip stitches while remaining to do our increases along this side. And we're going to keep doing this until this portion reaches the front of our body. And then once when we have that, we're going to meet each other back so that we can do our little shoulder chunk that meets our way over to the body. But once when we are doing this right before we are going to do the shoulder chunk, just make sure that you guys end on this increased side so that we can do our shoulder chunk along the same side together. So we are back and I have just finished up going in with my underarm portion that goes from our side all the way to the front of our body. And we have a total of 11 rows or an inch and a half or four centimeters unstretched because as we know, this stretches out quite a bit. But once when we have this, what we're going to do next is go in with a chain that goes from the tip of where we should have ended, which is where our increased side is, all the way up until we get to the top of our shoulder. So I have already measured mine out. I'm going to start off by making a chain of 15, or that comes out to 4 inches or 10 centimeters. So from here, all we're going to do is make a chain of whatever measurement we need. Now that I have my chain, what we're going to do from here is just do a solid portion of back loop slip stitches with no increases or no decreases. So how we get this started is by blocking off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then we're going to be going in with back loop slip stitches going all the way down our chain, 
and then all throughout the body as well. So let's just do the first few together. We're going to insert our hook in through this first back loop into the second chain from our hook with a back loop slip stitch. Let's do the next one together as well. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to continue doing back loop slip stitches until this portion reaches the base of our neck over to the other side of our base of our neck. So let's show you guys what this should look like because I already have this other piece all finished up. So this solid portion is the piece that we're working on right now. So once we get to the end of the row, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, do more back loop slip stitches coming all the way up. Once we get to this end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do back loop slip stitches going all the way down. And I'm going to keep going until I have a total from this first row down to where I'm going to end over here before we start doing our underarm portion. A total of 54 rows, or in total this is going to come out to 8 inches or 20 centimeters. And lastly, when you guys are going in with these rows, keep in mind that once when we end, we are going to want to end on the bottom side so that we can work our way up to our underarm portion together. And then also keep in mind that this does stretch quite a bit. So when you guys are measuring this up to yourselves, stretch it out just like how it would be if y'all were wearing it. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have this entire chunk done so that we can do this underarm portion together as well. All right, so we are all back with all of the rows that we need that reaches from the base of our neck over to the other side of the base of our neck. But what we're going to do next is go in with another underarm portion along this side right here. So as you guys can see, there's a stitch marker right here. The spot where we're going to be inserting our stitch marker is going to be from the top counting down the same amount of chains that we did for this portion that we did right here. Sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong thing. But if you guys are doing the same pattern as me, we did a chain up of 15. So what I did, I counted from the top all the way down, inserted my stitch marker into that 15th loop. And then from here, since we all should have ended on the bottom side, we're going to go in with one back loop slip stitch going all the way up until we hit our stitch marker. And then into the row after that, we will be doing our decrease. So I will meet you guys back once when we have done our back loop slip stitches all the way up to this point so that we can do our decrease together. So we have just made our way all the way down with a row of back loop slip stitches all the way up until we hit our stitch marker. Into the next row that we're going to start, we're going to go in with our decreases. So we're going to start off by doing a chain up of one and flip our work. Once when we have that into the first two available back loops, we're going to be doing our decrease. So we're going to insert our hook into this first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, we should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're just going to yarn over and then pull through all three of these loops. So yarn over, pull through all three, and that is our decrease. And so from here, we're just going to go all the way down with one back loop slip stitch into every loop that we have. Once we make it down to the end, we are going to do a chain up of one that is our blunt side and then bring it on back with more back loop slip stitches. And this other underarm portion that we did, the type of increasing that we did was only increased into every other row. So into this section, we're going to be decreasing into every other row. So go ahead and make your way down with back loop slip stitches and then bring it all the way back up with more back loop slip stitches, putting one back loop slip into every loop that we have. And then I'll meet you guys back just to remind you guys how to decrease just one more time and then I'll let you guys have at the rest. Alrighty, so we are back and we have just made our way back with our back loop slip stitches coming all the way up and we put one back loop slip into every loop. And then from here, we're going to do a chain up of one and when we work our way down towards the bottom of the top, we are going to be doing our decrease. So into this next back loop, we're going to decrease together. Into this next back loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops that's on our hook and then put one back loop slip stitch into every loop that we have. And we're going to keep doing this going back and forth remembering to only decrease into the rows that we are going down towards the bottom of the top until we have the same amount of rows that we made over here so since i had a total of 11 rows along this side i'm going to keep going until i have a total of 11 rows on this side and then i'll meet you guys back once when this piece is all finished up all right so we have just finished up going in with this entire front panel and from row number one all the way until where I ended, I ended up having a total of 65 rows, and that is a width of nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters. But once when we have this piece, our back piece is going to be exactly the same. So go ahead and make another one. And then once when we have our second one all finished up, we're just gonna go in along the sides with our seam. So meet me back once you guys have your second one all finished up, and then we can do the seams together. 
So now that I have both of my panels all finished up, we are now going to go in with our seam. This is just going to be a row of single crochet, making sure that we go in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. And as you guys can see, I have already inserted my hook in through the corner of the front panel and then also in through the corner of the back panel at the same time. And next, we're just going to insert our yarn onto our hook and then pull through those two loops that's already on our hook. When we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're going to go in with our seam. So let's do a couple of these together. Into the first available loop that we have into the front panel, we will be inserting our hook. And then also in through the first available loop we have in the back panel, insert your hook. And then we're just going to single crochet like normal. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this just one more time together. In through the next available loop into the front panel, next available loop in through the back panel, and single crochet. And we're going to continue doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into. Once we reach this top portion, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same seam that we just did here along the other side. Alrighty, so we have just finished up going in with the seams that we have on the sides. We have flipped everything right side out and now we're going to get started on the mock neck portion. So the first thing we're going to have to do is actually try this on and then we're going to make a measurement that goes from this corner loop that goes up and over your shoulder to this back corner loop right here. And this is going to connect the two pieces that we have and we're going to have that same measurement on this other side. So I have already tried mine on and measured out the length that I need. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of seven and that comes out to two inches or five centimeters. And then once we have that, we will be slip stitching it into this back loop, but do not cut and tie because we're going to go all the way across with single crochets afterwards. So go ahead and insert your hook into this front panel's corner loop. Insert our yarn onto our hook and then start off by making the chain count that you guys need. Once when we have our chain count, what we're going to do is slip stitch it into this back corner loop. So just right into this loop right here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. And then next we're going to go across this body portion that we have with a row of single crochet. But we will be inserting our single crochet into every other side slip stitch row that we have to make sure that it doesn't get too big. So what we're going to do is first insert our hook into this first side slip stitch row that we have right here. And then I will be skipping this next one, which is the one that is protruding out into this next side slip stitch row, single crochet, skip this row, go into the one right underneath with a single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way around. Once when we hit this corner, we're going to make a same chain count that we have over here. And then we're going to slip stitch it into this front corner loop and single crochet all the way across, just like how we're doing right now. And then once we get all the way to the end, we're going to slip stitch into this first chain that we made for ourselves. And now that we have just made our way all the way around connecting our front piece to our back piece, the next row is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to go around with a row of single crochet and then we can go in with the length of the mock neck. So all we're going to do is just do a chain up of one from where we slip stitched into the chain. And then we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every loop that we have going all the way back around. Once we meet our first single crochet, we're going to be slip stitching into there and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our mock neck. So we've just made our way all the way around with our row of single crochet. And what we're going to do from here is just go in with the chain that is long enough for the mock neck that we want. So I'm going to start off by making a chain that comes out to 12 chains or that is 3 inches or 18 centimeters. So I'm just going to start off by making that chain. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is more slip stitches. So all we're going to do is just block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off with our thumb or the second chain from our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And for this first row, we're just going to go all the way down, putting one slip stitch into every chain that we have going all the way back down. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can slip stitch it into the base. So I've just finished up going in with our first row of slip stitches and now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So all we're going to do is take a look at this next available loop that we have. We're going to slip stitch it into that loop to close off this first row. And then once we have that, we are going to work our way up to the next row, which is just a slip stitch into the next available loop into the base. And we're going to flip our work from here. 
And then from here, we're going to do back loop slip stitches. So we should be very familiar with this. We're going to be inserting our hook in through that. Ooh, first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this until we get down to the end. We're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then do more back loop slip stitches coming all the way down. And we are going to connect into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to continue doing this going all the way around until we don't have any more loops left. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam up our two mock neck pieces that we would have. So we are back and we had just made our way all the way around with our rows of back loop slip stitches and we don't have any more loops left to go into. So now we can just seam up our mock neck and then we'll be all done with this part. So what we're going to do is first... We're going to need to flip just this section inside out so that all of our seams could be faced along the inside. So all I will be doing, because I don't want to flip the entire thing inside out, I'm just going to fold it in this direction so that once when our seam is all finished up, we can flip it back up the way it's supposed to be and then our seam will be along the inside. So all I'm doing is just pinching these two corners in but having the parts that's faced out towards us face each other and then I'm going to grab the innermost part that we have right here and then pull it out. And then from here we can go in with our seam. So going in with our seam, it's going to be exactly the same way that we did the other seam. So we're just going to do the first one together. We're going to be inserting our hook in through the first available loop in through the front panel. Here we go. And then also in through the next available loop we have in through our back panel right here. Once when our hook is successfully through both, all we're going to do is do a single crochet. And we're just going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we don't have any more loops left, we're going to do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we have just finished up going in with the seam for our mock neck, and now we can go in with our sleeve. We already have one of them done, so we're going to do the next one together. And the first little bit that we're going to do is just going to be a row of single crochet going around the armhole that we left for ourselves. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into the first available loop that we have that is right next to this side seam that we have right here. Insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once we pull through, we're going to do a chain up of one to secure. And then we're going to be putting one single crochet into every loop that we have that's going up our side slip stitch rows. And this is going to be a little different because for these side slip stitch rows, there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into. But we're just going to have to find one row for our side slip stitch section. Single crochet into there into the next side slip stitch row, single crochet into there. We're going to do that going all the way up. Once we get up here, there's going to be regular loops. So regular single crochet is going all the way up and around. And then once when we get down here, it's going to be the same deal for the side slip stitch rows. Just put one single crochet into each of those. And then we're going to slip stitch into this first single crochet that we're about to make. So let's just do the first little bit together. Into this next side slip stitch row is this one that I have right here. So we're just going to find the top loop. And we're going to go in with a single crochet. And then let's just do one more together. This divot right here is the next side slip stitch row. Go in with one single crochet into there. And from there, just put one single crochet into each. And then I'll meet you guys back once we make our way all the way around. Now that we've done our row of single crochet going all the way around, what we're going to do from here is do another row of single crochet. But this is going to be a row of back loop single crochets. So we're just going to do a chain up of one and we're going to keep working in the direction that we just came in from. So into this first back loop we will be inserting our hook and we're going to go in with a single crochet. Let's do this one more time into this next available back loop, insert our hook and then single crochet. And we're just going to be putting one into every loop that we have going all the way around. So I'll meet you guys back once we are done with this row. Now that we've just gone in with our second row of single crochet, now we can start going in with the length of our sleeve. So as you guys can see on this side, it does get wider up top and it is shorter along the bottom. So we are going to need to eyeball this part. I will let you guys know my numbers. But all we're just going to do is go in with single crochets, eyeball to where we want to start our half doubles, and then doubles that go all the way up and over the other side, and then maintaining the same number count along the back side as well of half double crochets all the way down to singles. And the way that I'm doing it is that I typically like to start off by doing my single crochets until we're about halfway up our 
armhole because if we start it a little bit lower then we're going to have a little too much fabric at the bottom and it's going to buckle. So I'm going to be going in with 15 single crochet for half double and then once when this goes up and over with our double crochet I'm going to be going in with 20 double crochet and then along the back half we're going to be going in with four half double and then 15 single and then slip stitching into that first and all of these are going to be going into the back loops so I'm just going to start off each of these sections with you guys and then I'll let you guys finish off on your own and your numbers can be different than mine that's just what I'm doing so just to start off our back loop single crochet section what we're going to do is do a chain up of one insert our hook into that first available back loop with a single crochet and we're going to keep doing this until we decide to start doing our back loop half doubles. So I will meet you guys back once when I have my 15 back loop singles. So we are back and we are now ready to get started on our back loop half doubles. So all that is, is preparing for a half double crochet. So yarn over and then go into that next available back loop with a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And I'm going to keep doing that until I decide to do my back loop doubles. And I'm actually just going to be doing four back loop half doubles. So we are now all finished up so we can get started on our back loop doubles together. So all I'm going to do is yarn over, insert my hook into that next available loop, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first back loop double. And I'm going to keep going until this goes up and over my shoulder until we are ready to do the back loop half doubles and back loop singles working our way back down. So if you guys want, you guys can count and see how many back loop singles and back loop half doubles you guys have. Insert a stitch marker along the other half so you guys know how many doubles you guys can go in with. And I'm going to be going in with 20 back loop doubles and just repeating all this back down. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. So now that we have just finished up going in with our first row of our extending portion of our sleeve, we're actually just going to keep doing this, but the only difference is that we are going to do a decrease into the first two back loops with a back loop single crochet, and then a decrease into the last two back loops with another decrease of two single crochets. But these numbers will still remain the same. So since I went in with 15 back loop single crochets, once when I do my decrease, I'm gonna have a total of 14 back loop single crochets and still maintaining my four back loop half doubles and then 20 back loop doubles. So we're going to do this decrease together and then I'll let you guys keep going all the way around just like this until we get the sleeve length that we want. So starting off this next row, we're going to do a chain up of one. And then into these first two back loops that we have, we're going to be going in with a decrease of two. So we're going to insert into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through, all three. And then from here, we're just going to keep going all the way up until we have a total of 14 back loop single crochets, or however many single crochets we went in with in the previous row, just minus one. And then we're going to go in with the same amount of back loop half doubles, doubles. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have just these two back loops left so that we can do one more decrease of two back loop single crochets together. We just made it all the way around, leaving these last two back loops for us to do our decrease into. So all we're going to do is go into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, into this last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, Pull through all three. Once we have that, we are going to slip stitch into this first single crochet that we made for ourselves. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're going to do a chain up of one and then start off this row exactly the same way that we did this last one. So we're going to go in with a decrease of two back loop single crochets all the way up until we're ready to do our half doubles, doubles, and then bring it on back down. Once we have these last two back loops, we're going to go in with another decrease of two back loop single crochets. And we're just going to keep going all the way around like that until we have a sleeve length that we want. And I'm going to keep going until I have a total of 12 rows. And that is counting these first two single crochet rows that we first started off with as well. So go ahead and do all of this and then I'll meet you guys back once we have the length that we want. So we are back and this is what my 12 rows looks like. And then once when you guys have the amount of rows that you guys want slash need, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and do the same exact thing that we did on this side along the other side. 
And then once when you guys have both of your sleeves done, now we just have a tiny bottom border to do with just some single crochets. So just taking a look at our bottom that we have right here, all we're going to do is insert our hook into any one of these loops, it doesn't matter which one. And then once when we have done that, we're going to go all the way around with a row of single crochet, and all these are going to be side slip stitch rows, so we're going to have to go into every other side slip stitch row, just like how we did for the neck portion. So since I'm in one of my loops, I'm going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And I'm just going to show you guys, this is my next side slip stitch row, so I will be skipping this and going into this divot side slip stitch row right here. So we're going to insert our hook into that top loop and single crochet. We're going to skip this one, go into the one right after that. And keep doing this all the way around once we make our way over to our first single crochet, go ahead and do a slip stitch into there. And now that we've made our way around with our first row of single crochet, we're just going to be going around with two more rows of single crochet. Once we make it all the way around, we're going to slip stitch into that first one, do a chain up of one, and then do it again. So we're just going to be putting one into every loop that we have, and then I'll meet you guys back once we have that finished up. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our three rows of single crochets. I have done my chain up of one and cut, and we are all done. And the last thing that we're going to have to do is just weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and this is our finished top. This was such a quick and easy top to do. I'm excited to share this with you guys and I can't wait to see how you guys style this and remake this. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by commenting the phrase honey bunch. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too, if you guys want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and I will see y'all in the next one.